Hello everyone and welcome to our video. My name is Young Soo Kim and I'm an assistant professor of operations management at the University of Alabama. Today I'm very excited to share our paper titled Operational Risk Management Optimal Inspection Policy, which is a joint work with Yu Chen Zhu at the University of North Carolina. This paper explores the critical yet underexplored world of operational risk management in the financial industry. Did you know that operation risk encompassing issues like spreadsheet errors and mispricing of financial derivatives poses a significant threat to the financial industry? Despite its profound impact, operation risk remains relatively overlooked, often escaping the spotlight. Shockingly, major banks worldwide suffered a staggering loss of $210 billion from 2011 to 2016 because of these operational risk events. I know that when the term operational risk is used in the OM literature, it often means the risk from supply disruptions in supply chains, but we are meaning something different here. The operational risk in the financial sector is defined as the risk of losses because of internal process failures, human errors, and sometimes unexpected external events. Now, what can the banks do to manage their operation risk? In fact, Basel Committee on Banking Supervision requires that financial institutions should conduct internal audit to control their operation risk, but how to design the internal audit policies is largely up to the financial institutions. This motivates us to study the question of how a bank should design its internal audit policy to effectively manage their operation risk, typically caused by their employees' mistakes. Specifically in this paper, we are asking the following questions. Should the audit be completely a surprise to the employees or should it be fully announced to them? Furthermore, would there be a new alternative that can outperform either approach? Let's now talk about the heart of the matter, the article's findings. We start with a comparison of two prevalent audit strategies, the random or surprise and periodic or announced type policies. Interestingly, we find that the periodic audit policy can outperform the random audit policy in banks' operation risk management. So this finding challenges the widely accepted virtue of the surprise effect in audit practices. For detailed explanations of why this is the case, I invite you to read our paper, but please allow me to provide a brief insight here. While the random policy can help motivate the employees to put more effort to prevent mistakes, a completely random audit schedule also means that audits are sometimes conducted too soon, which is wasting inspection cost, or they can be long overdue, which is allowing operational risk to, risk to accumulate and potentially exacerbate losses. But our story doesn't end there. We introduce a compelling new approach, the hybrid audit policy. This hybrid policy blends elements of both random and periodic policies, thus harnessing the benefits of both worlds. We specifically find that the hybrid policy can be a superior alternative to both traditional approaches and also properly reducing the surprise element in the audit policy in the manner of our proposed hybrid policy always leads to a superior performance. So what does all this mean for the financial industry? First of all, it challenges the conventional belief about the surprise effect in audit practices. So offering new insight into how banks can better manage the operation risk. Also, we suggest an effective alternative to traditional approaches, which is our proposed hybrid policy, and based on that, financial firms can enhance their risk management strategies and reduce losses. 
Thank you for watching our video about our paper on operation risk management in financial firms. And I hope that you enjoyed it. I think that our paper provides a novel contribution to the realm of this important issue of banks operation risk management. If you have any questions or would like more information about our paper, please do not hesitate to reach out to us.